there will never be another Bored Ape Yacht Club. Let me explain why. I think it's pretty fair to say that the Bored Apes and Yuga Labs, the founders, put NFTs into the spotlight like no other project has. If it wasn't for them, the entire market would look completely different from what it is today. And with all that's about to happen soon, and I'm gonna cover that in a second, I thought it's a pretty good idea to take a step back and to look at how far we've actually come in the last three years. This is the past, the present, and the future of the Board Ape Yacht Club. Now in April of 21, the apes were born, or minted. And what many people don't know is the pre-sale went horrible, <laughs> it went really bad and apes didn't sell out, which back then was considered a death sentence. Problem was the apes were all unrevealed. The moment they sold out and the placeholder got refreshed, people actually saw what the apes looked like. And this is where things started going nuts. You see in crypto, we have a saying, ape into that token. And it means you do no research, you just take your money and you ape into it. This is a meme, it's a word of mouth. And suddenly we had a face attached to that meme and obviously Degens loved it. This was the start of the journey. Soon after that, as seen on Yuga's early roadmap, we got kennels, friendly dog companions for each ape. And after that, we got mutants. Now, let me tell you, the uninitiated think mutants are ugly and disgusting. My girlfriend doesn't like them at all, but they're goddamn beautiful. They're a work of art and they should be hanging somewhere in the Louvre for people to admire. But this is just, my own personal humble opinion, I love the crypto culture and I think mutants play a vital part in that. But Yuga didn't want to stop there. They didn't just want to launch a NFT project and call it a day. They wanted to create a legacy. They wanted to leave a mark. Now with the Bored Apes prices going higher and higher and higher, some people, <clears throat> Buzzfeed, thought it was a good idea to hold people accountable. So they decided to dox all of the founders which I think is something they will never do again because the shitstorm BuzzFeed had coming was well-deserved. These are the founders. We have Greg, or Gaga. We have Karim, or Emperor Tomato Ketchup. Zishan, or No Sass. And Wiley, Gordon Goner, who sadly had to take a step back to focus on his health. Get well soon, dude, we miss your energy. So just one year after launching The Bored Apes, Yuga went on to raise 450 million in a seed round led by Andreessen Horowitz with a valuation of 4 billion. Not only was this unprecedented in speed, it was one of the highest initial valuations in a seed round in history. Now this is a major milestone, but unheard of for any NFT project. And they didn't just stop there. Yuga Labs went on to buy CryptoPunks and MeBits from Lava Labs, which was and around the same time, every mutant or bored ape got an ape allocation, which is their token. And interesting things are happening with ape and ape chain that I'm gonna cover in a second as well. What followed literally broke Ethereum. The other side. The biggest mint that ever took place was the other side. And quite frankly, I've blended it out. I think this is what adults do with traumatic events. The average transaction fee was $12,000. They literally broke Etherscan. It'll go down in history as one of the worst and most demanded mints ever. Regardless, this didn't stop Yuga. It just further proved the demand for apes. And this is when things took off in a remarkable way. Celebrities rocking their apes left and right, Paris Hilton showing off her ape on Jimmy Fallon, Adidas and Gucci partnerships, restaurant and bars launching with their respective ape IPs, Neymar going full degen mode, Justin Bieber buying apes because they looked sad, Eminem and Snoop Dogg coming on stage during Ape Fest to release the latest song featuring their bored apes. I mean, the likelihood of something like this happening again is close to zero. Now with the other side development in full swing and early playtests, like the first trips, Yuga thought it was a good idea to appoint a new CEO. Daniel Allegre was an executive at Activision Blizzard who oversaw games like World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, all the way down to Candy Crush, and he was the president of global and strategic partnerships at Google. So this is where Yuga Labs bridges Web 2 and Web 3. Which brings us closer to the present. While everyone is still waiting on other side to launch, which is happening this month, I'm gonna 
cover that in a second. We got Legends of the Mara, which is a staking game based on the other side. And we got Tuki Dash. Tuki Dash was the first time major esports players entered Web3. And they didn't just enter, they came, they saw, and they won. Big time. Now Mongrel, an ex-Fortnite professional, took home a paycheck of over a million dollars. The sewer pass was claimable by apes. It was a token-gated experience, which is gonna change soon. And Mongrel managed to place first on the leaderboard. Now this transformed his sewer pass into the only legendary heavy metal. Since then, we had the Forge and we had the Rift. Things have not been perfect, to say the least. The Forge and the Rift were both experiences that were underwhelming. The next evolution is on its way and hopefully the mini-games that take place then can bring back some of that Dookie Dash energy. That being said, looking into the future, things are finally starting to come together. Now firstly, we have the long-awaited Yuga and Magic Eden Marketplace launch. The constant battle of royalties and the evolution of marketplaces will be tested once again. And all of the major projects that you can think of, Pudgies, Azukis, Artifacts, all of them will use this marketplace. So this is a big thing for the entire space, not just for Yuga, and I hope it goes well. Secondly, we have an Ape Chain proposal. As stated before with the other side mints and Yuga Labs two years ago, it's pretty tough to scale on L1. Back then they already told the DAO to focus on ApeChain, which is happening now. That vote is off. The only thing we don't know is whether to use Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, CK Sync. So I'm gonna leave a link to a spaces down below. If you hold ApeCoin, check it out and the proposal as well. Thirdly, other side is about to return. And I personally think in a big way. The title is called Apes Coming Home. A consistent world and the ODK is not as far away as people think. So all of this is happening in February. Obviously, I'm going to drop another video once that happens. But if you want to learn more, I suggest you join the Other Side Discord. There are loads of helpful community members. And lastly, Dookie Dash Unclogged is about to release for free and for everyone, not just for ape holders. It'll be available on your browser and it'll be available as an app. Why is that huge? Now, it allows everyone to earn seasonal prizes and rewards. And this, I wholeheartedly believe at least, will bring the IP to more than a million people because the game is really fun. Dookie Dash Unclogged was developed with Faraway Studios, which recently released Serum City in collaboration with Novel Labs and the Mutant Cartel, which I think is the best Web3 game that's currently out. Now, if we take away floor price and if we take away everything and just look at the IP itself, no other project is comparable to the Bore Biart Club. I think that's obvious. And the Made by Apes section. It's mind blowing. We have 370 businesses that use the Ape IP and it feels like there are more launching every single day. The recognition of apes is worldwide. Everyone basically knows what an ape is at this point, right? We all bought into the vision of the metaverse, but not the metaverse itself because it wasn't ready. And now that we get the vision pros and people walking around with mechanical dogs on the street, it's almost there. So I think we have to start paying attention again. Those are just my two cents. I'll see you soon, stay safe, or I'll see you on the other side.